Dear crypto anarchists, dear freedom lovers, welcome in Prague, welcome in Central Europe, welcome at HCPP. I'm really happy that you come here. Please your hand, uh, who is here like the first time? Just first time, yeah. Okay, who is here the second time? Third time? Oh, cool. So we have a lot of like first timers. <clears throat> So let me introduce uh, shortly, my name is Pavel Luptak, and I'm one of the co-organizers of this conference, this unique conference in Central Europe. I'm also the co-founder of Parallel Polis, this unique, unique place, you are just here. Uh, and I would like to open HCPP Congress and tell you more about what's, what is going, going on and what interesting workshop presentations, uh, lightning talks, interesting events are waiting for you. So, um, before I would like to explain to you the slogan opt-out we decided to choose for this year, because every year we have a bit different topic and this year we decided for opt-out. Uh, so, what was the idea behind, behind this decision? Uh, Firstly, after so many years, uh, we realized that uh, we crypto anarchists, voluntarists, libertarian, freedom lovers, we were, we are, and also we will be in the future always in minority. And, and it is really crucial to realize this important fact. So it means that uh, that democratic system we are just living now uh, cannot lead to more freedom or more free society. So it is really important to realize this fact and to cope with, that, this, with this fact. But don't desperate because, because what we have now is a global internet community with connecting millions of people, uh, with different, uh, different people with the same taste and the taste and this taste is taste for freedom. And this is exactly what Parallel Police is trying to do. So we are a community now fully working in Bratislava and Prague, probably starting in one month in Barcelona uh, or also in Vienna. And what we are trying to do, we are trying to connect all these people with the same taste for freedom together. And we are trying to show these people how it's possible to make a parallel society and how to opt out of the system. So let's connect this community. And this conference, you, 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 you will see a lot of presentation, how it is possible to use current crypto technology and various legislation hacks, various legislation uh, loopholes or legislation tricks to achieve more freedom. So what is important, achieve new freedom using globality and flexibility, opt out of the system. So this is a very short explanation, and now I'm going to describe our dear speakers we'll have at this uh, year of the conference. So first one, and one of the most important one, is Robin Hanson. Robin Hanson is is inventor of the of the term uh, futarki. Maybe you know that this term futarki is is a society, is a concept of society which is based on prediction markets. So Robin Hanson is really focused on prediction markets. He wrote two interesting books. The first book uh, is called uh, The Elephant in the Brain. It's about, it's about statuses of, in our society. And the second one is The Age of M. Uh, it's about possibility, about future society where it will be possible to make a clone of human brain. I strongly recommend it to, uh, to read bought these books. Um, this year, Robin Hanson will have a presentation here about radical concept of criminal, uh, criminal proposal, how, it, how, we can, uh, how we can change our approach to solve criminal, uh, criminal acts. Another very important speaker will be Luis Cuente. Luis Cuente is the main guy behind the project Aragon, Aragon Dal. DAO is Decentralized Autonomous Organization. For those who don't know what, is, what the DAO exactly means. Um, so, 
in these days, the government are losing their monopoly over issuing money thanks to cryptocurrencies. But still, they have monopoly over business licenses. So if you want to create a company, you can create a Czech company, you can create a US company, but still the, license, uh, the, the licenses uh, are issued by the specific governments. But in the future, probably this won't be true, because DAO basically means that thanks to smart contracts, you, you would be able to create any decentralized organization or any decentralized company, uh, store agreements uh, between owners of this company to, to the blockchain, and and start a completely decentralized, unstoppable, unstoppable organization. And exactly about this, uh, Luis Coende will have a presentation. Another interesting speaker is Nico Middleton. Nico Middleton is a, a guy from, from Oxford, and he will have a presentation about uh, non-existing states, about very interesting states you are probably not aware. Uh, we have Cubanian dissident from, from Cuba. His name is Reynaldo Escobar Casas. Also, we'll have uh, another people from China and probably also from North Korea. Uh, so we try to have people from all these dictatorship countries. They will, they will tell you what's going on in this country, how they are fighting for more freedom, how, what kind of technologies they use. Another important speaker is Trevin Keith. He's from Philippines, and Trevin uh, uh, will have uh, a presentation how it, how, how it is possible using his pretty bad passport to get visas and residency in the most, uh, most countries. So he's like a, some kind of state hacker. Uh, Ken, Ch Ken Chuland, Ken, uh, Ken is responsible for writing really important book. The name of this book is, uh, I think it's Stories of Jonathan Gulibel. It's the anarchistic book for children. And it was translated, it was translated probably to 100 languages, different languages, even to Slavic language and Czech language. And if you, if you want to teach anarchy to your children, maybe you should start with this book. Strongly recommend it. And then we have a lot of regular speakers with their new, uh, mind-loving presentation like Paul Rosenberg, Smuggle, Jörg Platzer, Juraj Bednar, and much more. Uh, unfortunately, we, I don't have time to speak about all speakers we will have this year at HCPP, but we have more than 45 speakers together. Uh, but I would like to mention three important panel discussions we will have here. The first one, um, will, which will be moderated by me, it's called Crypto Liberation Community Panel. So it seems that in Europe now we have like growing crypto liberation communities in different cities. So people from Germany, from Austria, from uh, Spain, from Slovakia, from Czech Republic, from all these countries, uh, they are trying to build parallel policies or their own crypto liberation communities. And I decided to invite all these people at one place and We'll have discussion panel focused on crypto liberation and crypto liberation communities. Also, we will have a very interesting panel with the biohackers, uh, with the name Biohack Yourself. And also this year, we will focus on virtual reality. So if you're keen on virtual reality, don't miss the panel beyond, beyond virtual reality. Lightning talks. Also, we will have a lot of lightning talks uh, focused on very different topics. Uh, for example, Alena Vranova, maybe you know the Satoshi, Satoshi uh, woman, she will have a presentation about her uh, recent book called Little Bitcoin. Uh, we'll also have like interesting presentation about Bitcoinery, which is a project uh, focused to uh, time locks. <coughs> and also we'll have a like, workshop. So you probably had or you probably uh, get this HTTP special HTTP batch. Uh, so the the author creator of this of these batches, he will have interesting presentation and workshop how it's possible to make your own batch. Um, also, we'll have another 
presentation about electrically conductive fiber clothes. Uh, also, another presentation about Bitcoin Lightning, first Bitcoin Lightning ATM, how it is, how it is possible to make your own uh, Lightning ATM machine. Uh, we'll also, we'll have guys from Riyadh, Vienna. They will do a workshop about Black Crystal. It's a hardware uh, workshop. Uh, Charlie from, uh, from Parallel Police Prague, he will uh, have a workshop how, how, how it's possible to make double spending or at least how to, uh, how to hack application which, uh, application which don't verify the uh, number of configuration. So uh, he created interesting applications, so definitely don't miss uh, this, this workshop if you are interested to, to do double spending. There will be some guys uh, talking from Monero community, I think, about new hardware wallet and also some other presentation about cracking private keys. And also, we'll have like a uh, projection of not a completely new film, but about a new film about Czechoslovakia and crypto community, uh, which is still in progress. And I think tonight you, you can see the uh, premiere of this of this film. And the last thing is that in front of Parallel Police there is like a huge truck. It's called Decent Truck. And because we consider our thoughts and ideas to be really important, we decided to spread our ideas uh, physically. And we bought like a physical truck. We call, we call it Decent Truck. And uh, we, we would like to use this decent track to visit a lot of places and promote crypto anarchy, crypto liberation, cryptocurrencies. So I think at this time it's already open, so don't hesitate, visit decent track when you go out of Parallel Police. And that's all. Thank you for being here and enjoy your first, second, third HCPP Congress. Thank you.